Welcome to the shortwave radio channel. So, checking out the medium wave band with the uh, U loop. And it is interesting because it's very directional, as all magnetic loops. I mean, look at how you can change reception just by rotating the antenna. It's interesting to see how the peaks move depending on where they're located. And some getting stronger. Well, this one's getting. So she promised to sit so it gives down you an idea that they're not in the same vicinal vicinity. It is kind of cool. Uh, Bragg understood so this is the U-loop on DSP as they are receiver, the Chinese clone, and on medium wave. The way I've, I've heard it shine a lot, and a lot of people talking about it was on medium wave. So of course that will be tested more. Uh, what I mostly want to see out, out of it is uh, when it will be outside. Um, I got a comment about, you know, you can compare MLA-30 and the U-Loop. Um, they do have a different purpose. I know that the U-Loop also has, is kind of um, built around performing better on high dynamic range receivers, uh, which means it's not necessarily for every receiver. It has really depends performance can depend a lot depending on the radio you're using with it um, and of course it does have an advantage on you know going somewhere you don't need power as it's passive so uh, you know we'll, we'll see more as time goes by and I use it and uh, we'll be checking that out so this is WCBS 880 let's see here Trying to see what we're getting. So 860 is the CBC out of Toronto. There we go. Just turned it so that Toronto has a better reception. Not in the same direction as WCBS. So it's kind of cool to see how the signals, especially with an SDR, that's a cool thing. Seeing how the signals react, depending on how I turn the loop. There we go. Getting the peak out of signal, depending on where I'm turning the antenna. One thing for sure is very quiet, not a lot of noise on the signals. That's for sure. It's kind of interesting to see. And you know, this is the properties of magnetic loops. Being able to uh, remove some of the uh, noise because of the way that it's designed and the way that it receives the magnetic waves. And they're also really good against the spread. They're 16 and 5 against the number this year, man. Yikes. And they also are coming off a victory. One thing for sure is I can't put the RF gain on that DSP very high on the medium wave band. Because it really, really overloads easily with the strong signals. This is John Moore on the iHeartRadio Talk Network. And I null out. Being a journalist these days, Look at that, I can null out. Look at that, that's and the lowest the signal level I can do when I try to null as maximum as possible. A considerable amount of and of course, in their coverage of the Ottawa I protests. have in spite the, of the fact maximum that signal on another orientation. If you read some of the columns so. I've been reading this morning... And it's fun to play with. Kind of cool to see the performance out of uh, each of these uh, antennas and radios. There we go. So right now I'm holding it in my hand and just uh, turning it. You can see part of it here. I'm just going to show you part of the uh, the loop. I can't really zoom on it, but um, just using it, holding it. Kind of interesting here. So medium wave performance. Looks interesting. Um, we're going to check that out. Continue checking it out. And uh, 
Chris will have a, a review. And I'll, uh, part of it, you know, when people say, well, you can't compare. It's true that, you know, an amplified loop is an amplified loop and the magnetic, a, a passive loop is a passive loop. Also, the fact that this one seems to be designed for high dynamic range devices also. Um, they seem to be advertised as being the ultimate uh, air spy HF plus antennas. Um, not necessarily for everything, so. Testing is going to continue with uh, U-Loop and different uh, frequency ranges and daytime with different frequencies also at the same time. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.